Next, we're going to go into my thoughts on the Metro Atlanta residential real estate market. Is the market good for sellers? Yes. Is the market actually still good for buyers? Yes. Now, many home buyers would disagree and say there's still not quite enough inventory in the market. But what I mean when I say it's good for home buyers is that if home buyers buy a home, the high probability is that that home will be worth more money next year than it is worth this year. I remember when I was helping people buy homes in 2006 and 2007 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 and 12, I don't remember being all that sure that the home that someone was buying, including rental houses that I might have bought during the time, that those homes would be worth more in the following year because in many cases they were not. I do believe you as a buyer have more choices. There's more homes on the market right now today than there was a couple of years ago. I believe that some of the homes are starting to take longer to sell. We have on average 1,400 to 1,600 homes in the Metro Atlanta market that are currently listed where the seller makes a reduction in the list price and that is every week, not every month. So that's a lot of homeowners who are super motivated to sell their house and might be willing to negotiate you with you as a buyer. If you are a home seller, the reality is enough inventory simply does not exist, meaning there are not enough homes in Metro Atlanta. There are not enough homes in the majority of the United States for all of the people who need homes. So inventory, is reduced because of the interest rate environment. Sometimes people don't think they can afford to give up their three and a quarter percent rate and go into a six and a half or seven and a half percent rate. And I understand that. I'm not saying that, that, that I agree with it in all cases, but I certainly understand it. But the reality is there are simply, they don't exist. The dwellings do not exist because we have not built enough houses since the recession started to meet the growth rate in households. Households are created when people graduate from college or get married or move out of their parents' house or we have a, uh, a divorce sometimes. It creates another housing unit and we generally need between a million two and a million five new housing units every year in the United States of America. So Cleve's thoughts on the market. If you're a seller, still a good time to sell. If you're a buyer and you're serious, it's still a good time to buy.